Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharif and today with another fun project with Sharif Poo, we are going to create a game. Yay! Called Simon and Game with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and a little bit of jQuery. So uh, I'll show you what Simon Game is for you that know. So basically the main idea of a Simon Game is we follow up a set we press we press the buttons with a certain pattern given by the game master or the game itself. So we have a button, uh, this kind of button. We have four buttons primarily, yellow, blue, green, red. So for example, when I press the start button on Simon Game, so it will indicate the first light, which is for example, red, and then I press red. And then next level, red, blue. So I press red, blue. Next level, the Simon will show red, blue, maybe green, and then I press red, blue, green, and it, the list goes on, goes on until I make a mistake. Now we have the idea, the game that we want to create. I'll show you guys the design. Since we're going to do it on a website, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I already designed the app. And this will be the over design, as simple as that. So we press any key to start, and then we press the button, indicate, and this is basically when we press the button. Nothing really interesting. Uh, and this is the game over screen. So remember, um, this is a walkthrough for my project, not a tutorial. So if you're interested on learning how to do this game in Bahasa Malaysia, since I only do tutorials in Bahasa Melayu, if you can get a thumbs up around 10 people, we're good to go. All right, so now the design here, I'll design it on the HTML part. Let's go. All right, so now we're done designing. As you can see, it's basically yeah, the same as what we first designed. I don't want to bother actually trying to have it accurately the same as that one, as this. But this is pretty much what we want to do. So now we have the created the design, the layout, and stuff. And now we're left with a couple of things, which is the JavaScript, the implementation the implementation of the functions. So first thing first, we want to make the game generate random color. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now we have created the, the color generator. So this function is to generate pattern, generate the next pattern. So I'll show you guys how it's done. So first, if I'll just console.log the pattern, the game pattern, so you guys can see every time we call this function. Okay, so now back to this, and then I'll refresh it, and then call my developer options. Okay, console. So every time I call the next sequence, okay, it's going to generate a color. So Let's see, red. All right, so the first pattern is red. And then if we call it again, then yellow, then red, red, and it randomize fully randomize. Yeah. So basically the idea of this function that I just implemented is to generate the next pattern into the list of the game pattern. So now we have the pattern and it will increase every time the next level, the main idea. And now we need to make the user click pattern, which, which means whenever I click a button, whenever I click a button on the screen, this, 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 or this, is going to be inserted in a list of my pattern so that we can compare with the game pattern and the user click button, whether he successfully followed the correct pattern or not. Yeah. Okay, so next function we're going to implement is the function where whenever we click a button, we're going to just put it inside the list. Alright, so now we have the... Uh, this means that when we select, when we click the button, okay, and we target the ID, we want to extract the ID of the user click button since our ID is pretty much blue, red, yellow, and green we'll basically just push the color into a list of the user click pattern so I'll show you guys what happened so I just console, 
console.log pattern. There's your click pattern. Every time it's click. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let me show you guys on the right side so you guys can see. Okay, so I click blue, you got blue, red, yellow, green, yellow, and the list goes on so it works. So now we have two things. The game gives us a pattern and we're able to give us our button click list. So we have, now we can compare those two. Now we are going to make the game. We want to make it interesting. I mean, if we click but nothing happens, we don't know if it's click or not. So we're going to make a sound and also play an, an animation, okay? So we'll try to make an animate function first. Okay, so I have implemented the animate press function. So it's going to basically animate the all the things. And also added a style, just called pressed. So you're going to change color for a bit and then change revert back by remove the class. I'll show you guys how it works. So refresh and then click. Oh, look at that. So now we know like it changes. Other thing that we're going to implement is the sound of the button make since Simon, Simon game produces sound whenever we press the button so it will be much more interesting we have sound so we are going to implement sound but before that we need of course the sound and to avoid copyright stuff we are going to make our own sound so let's go to uh, voice recorder yeah then we'll make uh, our sound with our own voice Okay, first sound. Uh, cool. Next one. Then. Lol. Lol. Okay. Sk sk sk. No. Okay. Okay. Now we have all the files that we needed. Go to make a file, a new file, which call as the sounds file. Otherwise, we're going to transfer all of this. So now I'm going to basically try to implement it inside. I'll try to put it inside the... I'll make sure it can be played inside the JavaScript first. All right guys, so I've successfully inserted all the sounds we this game unleveled. And as you can see, we have now the blue, green, red, yellow, and this is the function call. And I call it whenever I click a button and also we create an animation for the press button every time we press so we're going to animate the button flashing and it'll play a sound yeah so let's see let's see let's see if it works okay refresh let's try can you hear it let me make it louder no. <laughs> masterpiece now, I present to you my greatest masterpiece. But that said, now we have the music, the animation of the button. Just like what we wanted, now we're going to start a game. So the first thing first, to start a game, uh, I, I sit on the top of this uh, page where I press any key to start. For now, there's nothing happening whenever I press a key. So we're going to add that. Okay now, so I added um, the code that able to start the game whenever we press any button on this keyboard. So I want to show you, first we need to console the log to show that <coughs> it actually happens, like really you can see it. I think I'll just need to delete this function, uh, console log. Right, so, refresh this, and if I press the button, look, it added. But we want to actually only press the key on the start and we don't want it to add more because when a game starts, we don't want to press the button and kept, keep on adding the game pattern since we wanted the computer to add it after we have, if after the player have successfully followed the pattern given by the computer itself. 
So we're going to make a new variable, a boolean one called start, which is called false. And we will only go this way. We'll only execute this line of code if start is false. Okay. And we just next sequence. And let's do console. Game pattern, and we also don't forget to make the start to be true, so that it won't it won't run again if we press the but any keys again. But I'll show you guys how you look. Refresh it, press once, blow, and then I cannot press anymore. Look, I'm pressing it. So this game has started. Now, um, of course, if we want to start a game, we want to make it actually shows something happens, like shows blue. Okay. Because in the end of the day, if we don't have this developer options window, we won't know what happened actually. Like, what? You, you know what I mean? So I'm going to add another function called the show game pattern, which basically will show all the patterns inside this list. Alright, so I have created a function called show game pattern. So basically, it will just show all the pattern in this list. Game pattern. Okay, so I put, I call this function, the show game pattern, inside the key press whenever we want to start a game. Oh, let me demonstrate. So let's press any key. No. Alright, so this one blinks. So basically, we need to press the button. No to make uh, it works. Yeah. So, uh, well, that's the first. Well, let's try to make it um, compare between the two disks, between the user click pattern and the game pattern, compare whether it's equal or not. And if it's equal, meaning it's like the same length and the same uh, arrangement of color pressed, and then we'll move on to the next level. But before that, maybe we'll change something to, we we'll change this part to something like level 1, level 2, so that people can see that it is starting. The header, the header class, okay, I think it's called the header. The header, since we're going to make it um, dynamic, we'll create a new variable called level, which will increase by time. Alright, cool. Going to check it out. It works. Cool. Level one. Low. Okay. All right. Um. So there's two cases. There's two cases. Three. Three cases. When it will be, wanna when we click when the user start to play, the button. Okay. For example. Um. For example, give me an example. Say for the game pattern, we have we have blue, green, red, and yellow. So this is one for the game, and this is for the, from the user. So when they click blue, and compare, does the first string is blue? If it's correct, yes. But it is not the same way. Three cases where first it is equal but not the same length, which is in this case. The second case is when they have the same arrangement, same length, meaning we can move to the next level. And the third one is if it's not equal at all. For example, it is not blue, green, meaning uh, the user, the player uses the game. So, so we need to create something, a function called I would say a sub list. Okay, a sub list to compare whether it is the same. It ha it contains. Does the user click pattern contains in the game? For example, the user click blue should not do nothing. Should not do nothing. Green should not do nothing. And when it's a red, all right, it's equal. Like. This one is equal to this one, we'll move on to the next level. But if we press like yellow, which is wrong, the player loses all and we start the game. Alright, so we're going to make those two cases. So first I'm going to create a function called sublist, a function that will basically compare uh, these two, okay? And then I'll put the three cases inside this button event whenever we click a button. Okay, the function will be created. As you can see, um, this is the sublist function where we're going to check whether it is equal, it contains, and then 
I call it um, here. So after we click a button, okay, after they push it into the list, you're going to see if it's, it's in the sub list, okay, and the user click button is equal to the game pattern length, which means it's completely equal. We're going to start the next level, okay. If it's not equal, okay, meaning that supposed to be blue, but I press red, we're going to initiate a function called game over, which will be implementing after this. First, we'll show what happened if it's equal, okay? Let's try it. Okay, press any key to start. Okay. Okay, this is the correct one. I show you, it won't make a mistake. Okay, press any key to start. Red. 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 Blue. Blue. Hello. So I press red, blue, yellow. Next level. Red, blue, yellow. Red, red, blue, red. And the list goes on until we uh, mess it up. Now we're going to create a new function called game over function. Basically, we'll start over all over again since we mess it up. Okay, so I've added the function game over over here. As you can see, I will be resetting all these variables out up here. I'll be resetting all of it. I'll show you how, how it happens. Start this, and then we'll press any key to start. Green, all right, green. Next level. Green, blue. Okay, next is green, blue. Very good. So now, let's say I press not blue, but red. So I get the game over button and then I need to do a press the key to restart. So I'll press again. There you go. Play it again. Green, red, yeah. yellow. Got it wrong, you will restart it again. So as you can see, I need to press any key to restart, but then if I click a button, it's going to actually um, something that's not supposed to happen. So basically we just need to control the um, button functionality to be uh, to be oh sorry to be inside something called an if else yep, 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 yep. and this would just if if it does not if it started if it started it will make it happen start. oh come on start All right cool yeah save it and then we'll try and try to run it with any key to start red Red, 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 yellow, red, red, yellow, red, red, yellow, blue, and if I click another, not red, yellow, game over, and yes, I cannot be, it cannot click since we make this false, we control it with an if else statement, we start it again, and then we can start again, and game over, this is not, so basically, we are, done with the game yay we successfully created the assignment game just like we wanted so that's pretty much it we have successfully implemented and created a game called the assignment game by ourselves only with html css javascript and a little bit of jquery so it's a good exercise i like it and yeah so i'm going to put it in my github as usual so you guys can fork it if you want to copy it and try it yourself adding more functionalities so that's pretty much it if you like it give a thumbs up in the video um subscribe to my channel where i make a lot of fun projects and also post tutorials but in malay but of course alas other than that other than my tutorials it will be in fully in english hopefully anyway that's all for me uh see you guys on the next video Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. Oh yeah, one more thing. I also will put the link to the website on my description so you guys can play it and try it. Yeah. Um, don't forget to um share it to your friends. <laughs> Alright, bye.